What's good, guys? Mom Burning Kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing on their end? I'm here to bring you another movie review, guys. Yeah, it's time to get going with the movie reviews, right? So today, on this today's uh, movie review, guys, uh, this was a movie that I did like, I did enjoy, and I wanted to share my opinions on it. Unfortunately, as you probably saw from the last uh, movie review, I was not that impressed and I was a little disappointed. Uh, shouts out to Mr. Multiverse as always uh, for coming through and kind of coping with me on that one. But today on this review um, we're talking about none other than JSA World War II. JSA! Yeah. JSA. Justice Society of America. One of my favorite comic teams. Uh, one of my favorite teams of all time. I love the JSA more than I love the Justice League. Yeah. Come at me with that. I'm ready. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to have to spoil maybe a little bit of elements, but more importantly, I will try to keep it limited to some without spoiling too much. Now, as you all know that this movie has not come out yet, I believe on Blu-ray yet. I believe it did. Or it didn't, but I know it came out digitally. I watched it digitally um, first. And I must say, let's get this right out the way right now. I enjoyed it very much. This does seem to be another movie that takes place in the same world of Superman, Man of Tomorrow, which I did review before. Um, so, yes, it, 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 it does take place in that universe. I'm guessing this is... Warner Brothers basically relaunching their animated universe of DC um, before, uh, after what we saw in Justice League Dark, uh, Apocalypse War. Um, so it seems to be that this is a reboot uh, of the universe. This does take place in that same universe. Why? Well, because Superman is in this. Spoiler alert. He does appear and he looks the same way he does in... Superman, Man of Tomorrow, voiced by the same actor in this. So we do get to see him. So the movie does showcase, it starts in World War II. We're, we're seeing, I believe, uh, President Eisenhower with, I believe it was Steve Trevor. And he's talking about the JSA, and he's talking about who these people are. And we get a little in-depth into who our man is and how he came up with the the ability to have superpowers for an hour. We talk about Black Canary, we talk about Hawkman, and we talk about Jay Garrett, the original Flash. Always great to see Flash. Jay Garrett. Shouts out to him. And, um, oh yeah, and shouts out to Hawkman, because if my ex-girlfriend is watching uh, Destiny, uh, I know you are a huge Hawkman fan, so, and uh, we've, we've always been still good friends, so if you're watching this, shouts out to you as always. Uh, she's a, she was a huge Hawkman fan. Um, so we are showcasing this. And of course then Diana shows up to lead the team. Um, the movie flips to the present and we see it is Metropolis, but we see a couple come in, um, a very interracial couple, and they're in the park. And then, of course, we find out who this person is, and that person is Barry Allen with Iris West. They have gone with the African-American version of her. Uh, I don't mind. I was hoping it would have been regular Iris. Uh, but she's there having a picnic, and but, of course, Barry's all like, you know, okay, I'm missing this. He goes back and gets something else. Missing this, doing that. And, you know, Shire's like, you know, it's okay, but... What are we? What are we? Like, we've been going back and forth with this. Are we a couple or are we not? And that seems to be kind of a contemplating of that. Sooner or later, there is an attack in, in Metropolis, and Iris tells Barry to go off and help. And we see this version of Brainiac fighting Superman. And this Brainiac is very uh, Mars attack like Martian looking, like he looks like one of the character, one of the Martians from Mars Attacks. He's got an over overlobing head, things like that. He he speaks very monotone, 
but Barry comes to help for, uh, Clark, and it's not like, oh, you're stepping in my turf. No, they're actually helping each other, which is great. Um, of course, Kryptonite is involved. What happens next? Uh, like I said, I had to spoil this because how Flash got into the past. He, uh, Brainiac shoots, shoots a Kryptonite bullet, and it's coming at, it's coming at, uh, Clark. Flash tries to reach for it, and then all of a sudden, I'm guessing the mixture of his speed with the velocity and the, the property of Kryptonite sends Flash to the past. And he's running through, and we see a, a hidden treasure, or should I should say someone, a very uh, very known DC hero who um, plays with uh, the hands of, um, it rhymes with gate. So um, yeah, I guess you guys should figure, figure out who that is. And uh, he, t he keeps telling Flash to keep the going, to keep going. So back in the past, we're seeing the JSA dealing with Nazis in the war-torn, I believe it's Italy or so, or, or Paris. And uh, Diana sees the opening of the portal with Barry, and of course, Barry comes through. What Diana just flips him, boom, grabs him, and basically says it'll take more than the speed of Hermes to uh, deal with me. I like the actress, uh, uh, Stana... Uh, uh, Kadic, I hope I'm saying her name right, she did a good job voicing Diana. She, she has Diana with an accent, which we have never seen in any animated feature I, that I can recall with, with Wonder Woman. She's never spoke with an accent. And I guess you can kind of say this is living vicariously through Gal Gadot's portrayal of her with an accent, the accent that she does have. So I appreciate that. You know, Diana's supposed to be an Amazon Greek, whatever you want to call it, you would expect the Amazon to speak with a accent instead of a proper English, you know, nah. So it was great to see that. The team is introduced to Flash, and, you know, even Jay Garrett is saying it's not possible that he, he's not from the future and things like that, and, you know, they start calling him Future Boy and, and stuff like that. But this was a really good adventure over time. But the more I'm watching it, the more hidden treasures that you're starting to see in the movie, it starts to it started to contemplate on me as a fan. I'm like, is Barry really needed? Was Barry needed for this movie? It started to make me wonder, is he just the selling point of this movie? And that's something I don't like about sometimes these DC features where... Now they have to use another character to sell the movie. A prime example of that for me is Justice League Dark. Batman wasn't needed for that movie. Why was Batman in there? Selling. That's how it seems to me. That's what this seems to me. And the more I watch it, I'm like, Barry's not needed. Why wasn't this just a straight JSA feature? And that's how I felt. But all the hidden treasures, that there are characters in here. You were not even dreaming to be in this movie. That's why I can't spoil too much. But you, you're seeing Barry team up with these heroes. The way they describe the JSA is that they're still very hidden, even in this world, this, this world-torn world. Like, whenever a mission goes well, that maybe the JSA did, the, the war the war reports and everything like that have to reply, oh, it was the Allied Forces that did it. They still have to be anonymous. And you're starting to see that wane on some of the characters in this. Um, there's a good relationship between Black Canary and Hawkman. Um, there's, a, there's the whole concept between uh, Steve Trevor and Diana. He's always proposing to her. They play this cat and mouse game almost all the time. And every time it happens when a successful mission you know, uh, they're all like, oh, God, here we go again. And Flash is like, Barry is like, does he always do this? And they're like, yeah, all the time. She always turns him down. Things like that. It, it plays up. Um, like I said, hidden treasure, hidden characters uh, from heroes and villains. Um, but 
the movie flowed pretty well. The pacing was pretty good. The action was really good. There are scenes in this movie, you're like, whoa, okay, that was really good. Some character development, and of course, there is a badass scene with Black Canary, and it just made you one, makes me proud to be a fan of that character. I'm like, ooh, she pulled the black bolt. I was like, ooh, that was nice. I'm not going to ruin what it is and why she did it, but it was dope. Um, there are two deaths in this movie, but it kind of gives a little indication of, uh, I will say the two deaths, they died honorably, uh, protecting someone. Uh, I'm not going to ruin who they were, uh, but you probably will start thinking, uh, oh, I, I probably know who it is, Chris. But outside of that, yeah, the, 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 the action was good. The concept was good. This truly showcases that this Flash is still kind of a novice. He's still kind of a rookie because, I will spoil this, when he's with Jay Garrett, what I did not like is that when he was with Jay, there seemed to be like a fluctuation of power between them. They, they were getting burnt out, and it was almost like they were playing off like two Flashes can't be in the same universe. But the fact of the matter is Jay Garrett's powers does not come from the Speed Force. And that's another thing. And speaking of the Speed Force, it was replied like that. And when Jay talks about the Speed Force, Barry's like, wait, what's the Speed Force? He's like, when Barry, Jay is like, okay, I'm going to do this and we're going to vibrate our molecules through this. Barry's like, wait, we can do that? It's, it was like, whoa, like he doesn't know he can do that? He doesn't know about the Speed Force? So here, this movie is clearly showing that this is a very n rookie, novice Flash. So, and he even talks about he only can run at the speed of sound. I'm like, the hell he can? He can run faster than that. And uh, so I'm like, yeah, okay, I, I got to put that this is probably a novice. But over time, I want to tell you guys that the surprise is in this, but you got to watch it for yourself, because then you'll get to understand, oh, that's why Barry doesn't know the JSA. Oh, and when I, when you figure that out as a fan, you're like, okay, mm, okay, I get it. I like where they're going with this, but I don't want to ruin it for you. Um, I will ruin this. Uh, Barry does uh, propose to... Iris, when he gets back to his time, she does say yes. Uh, I won't tell you who gave him the rings, but watch it for yourself. You understand. Um, when he did help Superman again, uh, it this seems to be building up to the Justice League uh, in this universe. Because in this universe, the Justice League has not formed yet. So he basically tells, he, I will spoil this once again, he does... He does tell Superman after defeating Brainiac, we should, if you ever need me, Superman, I'll come. I'll, I'll, I'll run and I'll come to you and we should team up more. And, then, you know, Superman's like like a team, like like a, a club and things like that. Uh, but it was good. I did enjoy the movie. If I'm going to give it a rating, um, solid 8 out of 10. The, the, the animation worked for what this new world is about. You know, um, I, there were some things I nitpicked at. Like I said before, I still feel Flash was not needed for this. This should have been a direct JSA movie, but it still was great to see the JSA. Anytime I see the JSA being showcased in some shape or form, I'm happy because they need to put the spotlight on them more. Um, my other nitpicks I would have to say is just, Personally, for me, no, no, uh, no Ted Grant, no, no Alan Scott, you know, no, maybe no Mr. Terrific, uh, Terry Sloan, Mr. Terrific, um, no, no Adam Smasher, no, no, none of those characters, no, you know, none of, none of those, Dr. Midnight, none of those characters like that, but still a solid movie. I enjoyed it. I will watch it again. Because I, I did download it, I, I will watch it again. But um, outside of that, like I said, solid 8 out of 10, good. Uh, don't want to ruin too much, guys. I had to minor spoil some things, but 
the 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 big major stuff I did not spoil. Like if you saw in the trailer, you're like, okay, how did that happen? How did this happen? Da 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 da. You got to watch it for yourself. Uh, but once again, it was good. Good start. I did enjoy this. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, thoughts and review on JSA World War II. I will see you guys next time. As always, my pack. Remember, your alpha loves you. Peace. One love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.